it's just incredible to to uh, to train them in the Grand National. Never thought it would happen, but um, with a horse like Arthur and with the team behind me that I've got, it's uh, it's just fantastic. It was an incredible day. It's, it's funny, everything's gone very slowly in the last sort of week. You know, we we had the preparation was spot on, and uh, we were so pleased that he he got a clear run in the national. That the big thing was he had to have a bit of luck and avoid any any fallers. Yeah, well, four four weeks ago it was looking a bit a bit dodgy, but um, the guys at Jackberry House, it's an Ninja Jockeys Fund um, sponsored house, and they've they've done amazing things with him. He's very very fit, and he came back in the right frame of mind, um, and he he deserves all the say, success that he gets. He's a he's a super super jockey. Well, I'm glad to say I didn't take part in them, but I think the staff had a lot, lot of fun. There was a, a lot of, uh, um, and they deserve it. They're, they're a really tight knit group here, um, and it's nice for them to have fun together as well. But uh, yes, it's great, and, and looking at all the press coverage we've had today, it's just been fantastic. If we can put this this uh, stable on the map for uh, British racing, it will just be super. I know, I keep turning around, it scares me how many people are here, it's absolutely brilliant. I'm so proud, I'm so proud of Arthur and I'm proud of what, what we've achieved here in, in, in Millenthorpe. Yeah, I'm not sure that they, they totally look down the noses, but I do think that the um, Scottish racing is, is starting to thrive and I think that's what it has to be. And um, you know, we're, we're very lucky, we've got some fantastic owners here that invest a bit of money in the yard and uh, the team here know how to train them and keep them, keep them healthy. No, that's that's it for him. He is entered for the Scottish National, but he won't he won't run there. We'll, we'll take him out, and he'll he'll go out in the field for for a nice summer summer's break, and then be back at Kelso hopefully in October. That's my price gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, there's, there's there's no pressure. The thing is, the horse he uh, he dictates the amount of pressure, and he's he's been a super horse to train, and he's got some ability. I think it's a bit of a responsibility actually, responsibility to the horse, responsibility to the race itself and the responsibility to all these people that have come round and seen him. I'm very honoured that so many people have turned up and uh, said hello to him. Uh, look, I think the race has a viewing figures of somewhere around 600 million, so it's, uh, it's going to attract attention and just, we're very lucky and very honoured to be associated with a horse of his uh, calibre, you know. I suppose I, I really enjoy it because, you know, the, the lads and lasses that work here are part of the community of Milnathorpe. They're flat, they live there, they drink in the pubs, they eat the, the uh, Giacca parties. So um, it's important that the community sees, you know, sees our side is, is of it as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased to show us off. Definitely that, um, look, the more publicity you get, you know, it annoys me sometimes you see Scottish owners having horses down south, you know, it's almost a snobbery value and you think, oh, come on, you know, we, you know, come on, you know, if we are not supported, Scottish racing will die. Most people have been very supportive and good, uh, but, you know, Scottish racing needs supporting. It's like uh, premiership for, you know, football, unless you've got the stars involved with it, uh, you know, unless you can pay for the good striker, we can't pay for the good horse, we're, we're not going to survive, you know. Is, it, is this the sort of thing you think that you can start attracting? Oh, look, yeah, you, you, that's why I'm stood here talking to you now, because, you know, the publicity will will drive us forward again, you know. Well, it's funny, I, I'm being a bit facetious now, but I mean, I've been champion jockey eight times and uh, I was assistant trainer. I was in a business partner, Nigel Twiston Davis had a farm in Cotswolds. We trained, I was assistant trainer there and trained two Grand National winners, and I'm assistant trainer here and uh, trained a Grand National winner. So I was a far better assistant trainer than I ever was a jockey. So, uh, no, look, it's wonderful. I, it's, it's very special to do it with Luce, you know. Um, so, so, that, so that's what's really, really good, yeah. Is that that bond that you two obviously Yeah, that, 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 that's it, I think, you know. I think compared to lots of other jobs it's it's easy but it's other game it, 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 it is hard work we have our ups and downs of it and so I think because we in our little minds we've worked hard that, that we, we feel a more of a sense of achievement yeah Uh, being, be, being, being a former jockey ourselves, we're not known for our brains and uh, people say we're very brave. I think there's a, there's a very close line between bravery and stupidity, I think. And, and, and look, I mean, he did. I felt so awful when his horse fell at uh, Carlisle. He'd done his... I mean, he was in a bad way. No, no, you know, it's a lot of pain. He, he sprung, I've done it myself, he sprung his collar. I've done both the injuries. You can see there, look, there's scars down there. I had to have an operation on Luckily, he just bruised the 
bone back there. I mean, without the medical care he'd ha had, he wouldn't have made it. And, it. and it's a testament to his fitness and his health that he's got, he got there. But you know, normal people would not be recovering in the time that he did. Had it not been the national, do you think he may not? Funny enough, I think he would have. You know, it, it, it's the essence of sport, isn't it? If you're a, if you're not there, somebody's taking your place. It's not like an office job where you know you somebody fills in for a few weeks and your job's still there. You know, if somebody else had ridden one for Arthur or somebody else wins any. He's missed winners. Somebody else is going to ride them. It's just the essence of the game. So, you now he he would have done everything he could to get back as soon as. He